So we're here today at the Boodles Tennis event with Play Brave, and this is lovely Simon, who's the CEO of the company. If you can tell us a little bit about the brand and how it started and how you founded it. Sure. Hi. Um, thanks, Alicia. Yeah, um, I've been in the sporting goods industry for 20 years. Um, and um, back in 2009, I was on a winter walking holiday in the Lake District. Um, I was kitted out in um, a merino wool t-shirt, uh, a merino gilet, mm -hmm. and a pack light shell jacket. It was really cold, sort of minus 15, but I couldn't believe how warm and comfortable I felt in this clothing. Um, I then went back to my um, local tennis club, and the head coach was wearing three or four jackets um, just about to go on court and he I mean he could hardly swing a racket it looked ridiculous Michelin man. yeah exactly Excellent. exactly <laughs> and I thought to myself you know why don't we bring some of these outdoor layering ideas into tennis so that was the original I, I suppose eureka moment mm -hmm. um, I went to Wigmore Sports um, they're based in uh, Wigmore Street just um, very near to Selfridges probably the best racket sports retailer in the world okay and I went to ask them their opinion of the idea they love the idea. Okay. Um, I then had to come up with a brand concept. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, Play Brave really epitomizes what we all love about sport. It's all about playing brave in the big moments, performing under pressure, whatever your sport, whether you're a tennis player, rugby player, footballer, and whatever your level, whether you're a professional or whether you just play with your friends on a Sunday, everyone has the opportunity to play brave when it counts. Um, I then had to find a designer, yeah. which was a really, really inspiring process. Do you have one in-house designer then? Um, well, we actually have a team of designers now, but I work very closely with the original designer um, to capture a special aesthetic. We wanted to include references to our shield branding throughout the collection, mm -hmm. but we also wanted um, every garment to be very, very comfortable for the tennis player. So we didn't want to compromise performance and comfort in any way. Um, and it was a really, really fantastic collaboration, working very, very closely to make sure the designs looked beautiful, but were also very functional to enable um, completely free movement, mm -hmm. to really liberate your swing. And I think one of the things we've been able to achieve um, and one of the compliments we receive from lots of, um, lots of our customers, when they're playing in our garments, they don't feel like they're wearing anything. I, I can testament to that because I've worn the dress and I felt Thank like you. I was so comfortable and I never uh, thought I'd wear a dress to play tennis and, and it you, was amazing. And you look great in the dress. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I think that's one of the things that really excites me. It's, um, you know, when you see someone in our garments, bringing the garments to life, mm -hmm. and then you can just see the free-flowing design that we've created. Well, the whole team as well was playing. Everyone picked a different range of items, didn't they? Some people went for the white two-tone and some people went for the little skorts. I think the, the short skirt was quite a popular combination today, with the girls, obviously, yeah. not with the gents. No, but it's, I, th I think that's one of the really interesting things about, um, about tennis um, in this day and age. Um, lots of people like the more classic tennis look, mm. which I think is very, very smart and elegant. We cater for that audience. But also, I think uh, nowadays, lots of people are wearing um, more gym wear yeah. um, on the tennis court. Um, so we're trying to, we, we also have a, a new fitness collection coming out later in the year. Um, and I'm really excited oh, about um, people being able to wear our clothes in the gym oh. when they're playing tennis and also mixing and matching. So you're moving, uh, you, you've, you're keeping the tennis space, which is your core, but you're also moving into another area of sports as Yeah, well. absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm very passionate about tennis. I'm also very passionate about fitness. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the keys to succeeding in, in business is you have to stick to what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, and in the, in the way that we've created, I think, tennis garments that people really love to play in, mm -hmm. um, you know, the next talent, challenge is to create fitness garments that people will love to train yeah. in. Um, and I think, um, you know, th there are so many huge brands out there. Um, you know, when I go to the gym or when I go to my tennis club, you've got so many people wearing Nike, so many people wearing Adidas. They're great brands. Mm -hmm. But I think there are lots of individuals out there who want to wear a more individual brand. Okay. Something that says something about them. Yeah. And I think the opportunity for us is to produce, you know, really, really nice clothes for discerning customers that want something just a little bit different. Um, all of our garments are made in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you felt the fabrics. Yeah, they were amazing fabrics. Uh -huh. And they're so lightweight, you literally feel like they don't... Sometimes with sports where you do feel like it's quite heavy and it does, yeah. not especially restrictive, but it does, you can feel what you're wearing, whereas with that you do feel quite free in what you're, you know, in the outfits. So thank you, good. thank you. And I yeah. think a lot of that comes from 
the Portuguese fabrics and their workmanship. Mm. Um, and the nice thing for me is, you know, I've visited all the factories that we work with. I go there on quite a regular basis. You know, I know the factory owners. I've seen the people that actually produce our garments rather than garments being mass produced in the Far East yeah. by people that you've never met in your life. So for me, it's, it all feels very personal. Um, and all of our garments, you know, are being crafted by family-owned factories, which I think is another special element. Yeah, that's lovely. And tell me a bit about your involvement with Boodles and how you've come about to sponsor this quite wonderful event. Yeah, um, the, the opportunity arose because um, a friend of mine um, was looking for, uh, looking for tickets. Okay. Um, and he um, contacted the, uh, the owner of the event. One conversation led to another. Um, and three weeks before the event was due to start um, six years ago, um, we were offered the opportunity to sponsor the event. Um, and, you know, for me, the Boodles is, it's a niche tennis event. Mm. Um, it's it's, it's um, different to Wimbledon, different it's very, to... It's very intimate, isn't it? Is. It is. It's very mm. intimate. It's, it's, it's personal. It's, it's a niche tennis event, I think, for people that really, really love tennis and want to get to the heart of it. Um, and for us as a niche sportswear brand, I think to be associated with a, with a niche tennis mm. event, it was just a perfect opportunity. Yeah. Um, and we had the contract for five years, then had the opportunity to renew. And we value our, our relationship with the Boodle so much that we have renewed. Um, and yeah, I think it's just a really, really great partnership for us. And now, I think my final question is, who would be your dream person to dress in terms of tennis player? Is that too much of a killer question? No, not at all. Um, I think, um, I mean, my favourite tennis player um, is, is Roger Federer. Yeah, he's a uh, dream, isn't he, yeah. basically? Um, and I, I think he embodies um, the, the grace um, mm. and elegance. And gentlemanly. Um, yeah. As it were. Yeah, no, a, yeah, yeah, well, but absolutely. I mean, I mean, for me, I mean, I know he's obviously, um, you know, signed up with Nike. I'm sure mm. for life. But to me, um, I think Roger Federer is a truly exceptional tennis player. Um, the fact that he's still playing so brilliantly at his age mm. um, is for so is, many years yeah, at such a high level. It, it, it's amazing. It, it, it's magical. Um, so I think for me, um, I, I think one day if I was to see Roger Federer um, kitted out in Playbrave, <laughs> that would be a, a unique moment for me. <laughs> that would be it. That would be it. That would be it. <laughs> Job done. That, absolutely. Okay, well, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you very much. Thanks.